This week on Country Music Junkies, we have a new artist to introduce you to. She is 16-year-old country pop singer from Austin, Texas, Bethany Becker. Bethany, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I mentioned you're 16 years old. That is incredible. When did this musical journey start for you? Well, I wanted to do music for my career since I was like in the first grade, and uh, the desire never really went away. So when I was barely 13, I think, I started pursuing it professionally. Amazing. Now, was songwriting a really big thing for you, or was it the singing and performing in front of people? What, what was it that kind of hooked you on this? At first, it was the singing and performing in front of people. But as I've gone on, songwriting's become more and more important to me, and I've developed a real love for it as well. That's awesome. Now let's talk about uh, your sound. I mentioned your your kind of country pop. Are there any artists that you kind of uh, feel like your music is very similar to, or or kind of you take influences from from different artists out there? The person I'd say my music is the most similar to would be Taylor Swift's early stuff. Okay, she's kind of a pop artist now, yeah. but back when she did pop country, that's what I would say is most similar to my music. She's, it was a huge in inspiration for me. Okay, awesome. So you have a three-song EP called Maybe More. Uh, you released it in late February. How is that going, and can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the EP? It's going good, yeah, and the EP is inspired by my life. I, my me goal with my music is to connect with people, and I think the best way to do that is to pull from real circumstances, because, you know, the real circumstances, people experience those. Um, the first song on the EP, Maybe More, is based off of my first heartbreak. Okay. Yeah, and so we kind of took the story of my first heartbreak, and I was really missing him and worried I'd never get over him, and we combined it with some of the lyrics and a melody from a song I had written, like, just sitting in my bedroom, wow. and it, it became maybe more, so that was cool. Excellent, and what, are, what about the other two, two songs off that EP? Are there any kind of stories behind those? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, right Place, Wrong Time, which is the second one on there. <laughs> when I tell the story, people normally either cringe or laugh, so just prepare yourself. I was, <laughs> it was the last day of the eighth grade for me, and I was sitting at home, bored, and this guy I had a huge crush on shows up and gets me invited to this party down my street and then the school party. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think he likes me. I think he's gonna ask me to be his girlfriend and kind of like freaking out inside my head. And we get there and about after 15 minutes, he introduces me to his girlfriend. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. And so I was in the right place at the wrong time and that's how that song came to be. Excellent. Well, it sounds like there's uh, a lot of authentic experiences that kind of fuel the messaging in your music, which is which is incredible. What's next for you in terms of your, your music? Are you planning on releasing uh, another EP? Or are you going for a full-length album? What, what's next for you? I actually have a single coming out next that I'm really excited about. It's something I really think people need to hear the message. And I'm working on a video for that right now, too, so that should be out pretty soon. Excellent. Are you allowed to tell us anything more about it, or, or just kind of have to wait and see? I'm kind of keeping it a secret right <laughs> now, so you'll just have to wait and see. All right, that's okay. That sounds good. Now, you were nominated <laughs> for a Hollywood Music and Media Award. Can you give us a little bit of an insight to, uh, to what that is and, and what that was like? Oh, yeah, that was really exciting. Well, the Hollywood Music and Media Awards is an award show that recognizes people who do music in movies and in media, but also recognizes new artists. And so for that, I was nominated for my music video for Maybe More and for my song Right Place, Wrong Time. That was really cool, and I kind of freaked out when I found out, but it was, like, really late, so I couldn't <laughs> wake up my family too badly. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Okay, well, that's awesome. Good for you. Now, Bethany, if fans want to connect with you, how can they do that? I have a website. It's bethanybecker.com, and I'm on most social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Vine, all that good stuff, YouTube. And if you search Bethany Becker on any of those, you should be able to find me. 
Perfect. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so, so much for chatting with us. Fans, be sure to check her out. Bethany Becker, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.